DNA testing has become one of the hottest topics in medical science. How much would you want to know if you could look inside your genes? Genes control obvious traits, the color of your eyes, texture of your hair, and hidden ones too. What are your odds of living to 100? What's your risk of having a heart attack or losing your sight to glaucoma or macular degeneration? This is where we're half identical, is this blue color. As you get older and when you have children, you become more and more interested about what's going to happen to you and what you're going to pass on to them. Harriet Levine Balkan eats right and stays fit, but worries about what she can't control, heredity. My husband's father died of Alzheimer's, and on my side of the family, my father's sisters both had Alzheimer's. So she, her husband, and son paid $400 each for genetic tests to predict their risks. It's all in the saliva, and it's just a matter of measuring those points in the genome. Linda Avey and Ann Wojcicki developed a home kit called 23andMe. Clients spit into a tube and send it to a lab. After analysis, a list of 100 different traits is posted on a secure website. We're looking at the genetics of more common diseases, and they're not so deterministic. It's, you could have an increased risk for something like heart disease or rheumatoid arthritis. That doesn't mean you're going to get the disease. Critics are concerned DNA tests only reveal a part of the picture. You're really only looking with what they came with, the hand they were dealt, when we know that so much of your future health depends on how that hand is played. But Linda Avey so says everyone has the right to decide for themselves. For those people who are fearful of getting this information, they're just not signing up to begin with. And the people who are signing up are of those folks who say, I think information is power. Not all of Harriet's questions got answered. The test isn't capable yet of determining her risk for Alzheimer's. But she did find out she's susceptible to high blood pressure and diabetes. Makes you realize that you have control, that you have more control than you thought. Nice job. If genes can determine risk for disease, can they also predict potential as a champion? The answer may be yes, with the discovery of a gene called actin-3. This is something that we're all, we're all born with. Uh, there's no such thing as a person that does or does not have uh, actin-3. So to a degree, we're all athletes. The gene directs the body to produce a special protein. This particular protein in the body has a lot to do with the ability of the muscle to contract at very high velocities. Variation in the gene alter how each of us makes the protein. That's what determines whether you have greater potential in an endurance sport like marathon running or are better suited to power sports like football or weightlifting. And since we get genes from both parents, some of us are a mix of the two. The uh, test itself is, is done on a saliva sample. The uh, individual athlete would uh, swab the inside of their cheeks. It costs $150, and some curious athletes are testing themselves and their children. There is that segment of uh, kids and with their, their parents and coaches that see the potential with those kids and want them to excel to a higher level, and that's where we come in. Hillary Anderson was a volleyball champ her husband a power lifter, so they were curious to see the potential of their baby Ava. <laughs> this just kind of gives us the guidelines saying, you know, that she might be better suited for one sport than the other. Not everyone agrees. I think that in some cases this kind of testing can really limit children's choices. There's so much more that, that goes into making someone who they are than just their DNA. Case in point, Hillary herself. Her tests show that instead of having the quick genes of a volleyball player, I was more endurance, which is kind of surprising. Her husband had mixed genes, and so did baby Ava. It's going to be ultimately up to her, whatever sport she wants to play. Realizing it takes not just DNA, but a burning desire to be the best. A lot of it, too, has to do with, uh, you know, mental toughness, your drive. Um, and your training as well. I wouldn't want to be seen as arguing against the research. I just want people to think before they spit and um, use their, their um, money wisely.